when you're bluegill fishing guys um you just use half the night crawler or even maybe a quarter of the size depending on how long it is and um you just kind of really thread it through notice how i'm kind of going probably hooking it three or four times there we go okay and i'm using a, a jig head for my hook um, pretty small size hook and then cast it out all right guys just caught another bluegill um maybe five inches or so or maybe even six inches good bait to use for flatheads guys that's for sure um like I said, when you're bluegill fishing, you want to use a small hook. I actually have a, uh, a jig head here, and I'm just threading a night crawler in there like this. Okay, it doesn't need to be a big night crawler. And uh, if you're fishing in a pond, um, it doesn't really need to be anywhere, you know, specific. I mean, maybe around trees around docks I'm, I'm kind of fishing near a bridge right now guys i'm just dropping it you know and um you can add a sinker if you like um for it to go down to the bottom but i like free lining it just with the with the hook and the um with the bait so we'll see if we can get another one here, guys. It shouldn't take long. I've already caught four, I guess. Um, pretty good size ones, too, guys. Oh, yeah. See that? Got, got one right there. Man, he's going crazy. Look at that. Okay does not take long if they're hungry and this these are pretty good size brim guys if you're wanting to go for flatheads this is what you want to get um, so really good size regardless um, so go ahead and release him I'm just letting my bait guys go down and I already got a fish on fish on pretty good size brim right here okay we're hammering it today this is a good day to be catching some really good brim that's for sure okay Good size right there, we'll release them. So guys, just kind of threading it through again. This one's pretty much at its end of the rope in a sense, so see what we can get again. See what we can get. Milton, North Carolina, fishing for bluegill. Oh, I just got a hit there. Oh, yeah. See that, guys? I got a fish on. And this one's a fighter. This one's a dead. a bass. We caught a lower. We caught a bass. Uh huh. We got a good bass on, guys. Pretty. Pretty good bass here. Let's see if we can get him. Looks like he's in the weeds now. Let's see. Uh, he's in the weeds, guys. I don't know if I can get him or not. Let's see if I can get him over here. Let's see if I can get some of the weeds off him real quick. You can see the bass right there, guys. 
that's a decent sized bass just don't want it to snap my line um, there we go so uh, here's a bass guys that's not a bad one okay so pretty good bass I think it's a I guess it's a spotted bass so we're gonna release him there's the bail oh yeah fish on guys huh got this little guy here man it's crazy with uh with the amount of fish that's nailing this thing nice little small bluegill i don't know maybe four inches or so three inches probably we're gonna get more here This may be a good size one here. So guys, notice how I'm kind of hooking it there and Um, tackle that I'm using is I'm using a ugly stick uh, GX2 action is light um, I only have maybe six pound line maybe four I think it's probably I think it's six pound test so it's not really heavy guys and there we go. Let's see what we can get drop it in Oh yeah. Guys, I didn't even have to reel on this one. I'm just dropping it. Isn't that funny? Actually, I didn't even really... Guys, I didn't even hook him in the mouth. I kind of hooked him in the... Hooked him in the eye, it looks like. Isn't that something? Alright, we're gonna try this again. I mean they must be running pretty thick underneath this uh this bridge here. Oh yeah, okay. Got another one here guys. Good fish. Another nice brim. Now you wanna hold them, you see they kind of got spikes there. I like to kind of come around the eye, kind of behind the eye, and then come down and kind of push their 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 back spine down okay and then a uh, nice fish gave me a little body slap there you can kind of see that I'm rehooking the worm drop it again close the bail guys I got another fish this is crazy this is like Every cast, we're trying to get brim. Jeez Louise. Alright guys, one more fish and then I'm going to call it a day. Okay? That will kind of end the session on bluegill. For you guys to see. Drop it in again. Oh yeah guys, I got another fish on as soon as I dropped it. I'm telling you, this is ridiculous. So, alright guys, I said this is the last fish, so. This is good bait for flatheads. And you can cut up bluegill and go for blue catch rate and channels. And flatheads will eat cut bait too. So anyway, I'm going to end this video. This is Chat Cat signing out, Milton, North Carolina.